So about six months ago, a good friend of mine um, asked me to jump on a Zoom call with him and wanted to ask me about the things that I do since about seven years ago, which is programming. He himself has been a life coach for a number of years now and he decided that he doesn't want to do that anymore. So in that call we discussed what I do, what uh, I think programming is, and he just wanted to figure out whether programming would be something that he can jump into. I think just as much as anybody else that isn't a programmer that I've spoken to about programming, he had kind of questions and doubts about whether he's good enough to do it. And he was wondering whether um, he will struggle to follow through and to actually become a programmer. And this is something that I've seen in a lot of people, is that they question their mental capabilities in becoming a programmer. Um, something which I think I understand, there is a lot of stereotypes going on about programmers which could explain that. Uh, and it is also true that some time ago it was a very sort of technical, almost extremely technical subject that not everybody could get themselves into. But for I think for a good while now it's not so much a matter of how big your brain is and how capable you actually are of doing any of that, like genetically. <laughs> and like how how much IQ have you got? It's a little bit more about whether you like doing it and whether this is something that you'd enjoy doing over a longer course of time. Because I believe that majority of people, whilst they may not enjoy doing programming, they are capable of doing programming. And any kind of misconceptions and barriers based on thinking that my mental capacity just isn't good enough to be able to do it, in my opinion, are completely wrong. So I went to talking to my friend um, about it for maybe a couple of hours, and at the end of this conversation, it seemed like he really wanted to follow through. So what happened then is that I um, sort of helped him maybe set a first few steps in the path of learning a little bit of programming, uh, he himself obviously put a lot of effort into researching some directions that he could follow uh, and in the end he decided to learn web development as his first specialization and kick things off from there. So here we are six months later and that friend of mine has completed a dozen of courses, uh, has built a number of simple websites slowly is getting into understanding more complex things about programming such as frameworks uh, you know web apis uh, something that i'm sure many of uh, existing developers uh, recognize that you know it's it's not uh, just fundamentals and just basics we kept on having calls throughout this journey and i kept on kind of you know helping him and guiding him in some directions uh, throughout that time but undoubtedly most of the progress he achieved was through his own motivated uh, discipline uh, putting in hours almost every day to be able to learn the craft i'm confident that he's only a few months away from actually being able to land the job as a junior web developer what really makes me happy about this whole story though is that he has almost proven me right in the theory that I had that just about anybody can pick it up and within a matter of months uh, become proficient enough with enough self-discipline become proficient enough to at least uh, you know enter the world of programming put their foot in the door and you know then carry on from there it's not a matter of you know completing university courses and studying for years but a mo much more a matter of whether it, whether it's something that you enjoy doing and find enough motivation and discipline to carry on through. So that friend of mine, Sam, um, he actually started doing something called 100 Days of Code Challenge, something that's going around uh, Instagram and different social media right now. Uh, he decided to give it a slight twist, so instead of just posting a picture, he actually records a short video uh, on each of these days, uh, giving a small update on you know how his progress is doing. Day 46, figured out what was going on with my background yesterday. I'd forgot to put in a full stop. And if you want to go somewhere where it is typical British weather, cloudy and not very sunny, 
then you get a Union Jack. I find myself quite surprised in how far he managed to go and with almost every day I'm excited to see a little bit further that he manage, manages to go and uh, a little bit more information that he manages to learn. And not only me, but I've seen a lot of people um, following him and his audience growing quite substantially. Uh, and it turns out that there's a lot of people learning pro programming nowadays. Um, I suppose the existing situation around the world helps a little bit with, uh, with the topic of picking up a new thing that you may learn. So, end of the day, um, what I recognize is that, well, there seems to be quite a bit of uh, potential for, you know, seeing a progress uh, of somebody who's, who's just been learning programming. We decided, therefore, that maybe it would be a good idea if we start recording our, our calls. We try to get in touch roughly about once a week, and we go over either some issues that he may be going through or just kind of uh, shaping his, his progress in the future. All in all, there, there, is, there is a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of value maybe for these who are in a similar place in their programming career and would like to catch up with these similar concepts. Um, so we decided that, yeah, that we're going to be recording these calls as informal as they will be um, and just put them out, up on YouTube. And we'd like to um, you know, invite anyone who may be at the, at the path to becoming a programmer to join us and you know learn along and maybe even do similar exercises as we we're doing uh, but more importantly I think even for those of you who aren't uh, currently learning programming either being programmers already or not even uh, uh, being at be you know at the beginning of that process I hope you find it interesting to just see uh, that friend of mine uh, pushing through all that content and moving himself from one career to another I think a non-trivial factor in all this um, game that we're playing here, all this transition that Sam is going through, is that he is almost 40 years old. And I often hear people, you know, at various stages of their lives saying things along the lines of, I'm too old to do something. It's not that I want to question or, or argue with that argument, but I thought that the fact that, you know, a guy who's been through a number of careers in his 40s uh, now decides to jump onto something completely different and more more than that something that many people may have a lot of doubts about and may think that they're not mentally capable of doing um, well I just I just feel that this is a good sort of um, example of how maybe things aren't as straightforward as simply denying to transition or learn a new skill due to uh, a number of reasons that we may think sound reasonable, uh, but I feel that truly are not more than just excuses to prevent us from um, changing our life in one way or another. One thing I think I really want to say at this stage as well is that myself, I'm not a programming guru or anything along these lines. I'm a coder and I've been programming for something around 10 years now. Uh, I have experience in various programming languages and various frameworks. Uh, I work for web, I work for mobile, I work for um, uh, animation industry, uh, I did a little bit of game, de game development. There's a plenty of fields that I kind of put my fingers into and I've been interested in, but I wouldn't say in any of these I'm a specialist or that I have some substantial knowledge in like theoretical core uh, programming, like, you know, computer science. More often than not, I even look at some theory of computer science and I think I should catch up on that. There's many things that I know that I'm, uh, I should be embarrassed for not knowing. Yet, I find that in the situation it's somewhat um, irrelevant. I'm able to you know, help my friend change his career and I have enough experience and knowledge to be able to guide him in the right direction. Sure, I'm making mistakes along the way, but uh, I think it's the, the results that we're seeing that matter here. Uh, but just before I get any of you guys to uh, you know, go too harsh on either Sam or me. Remember, this is just a couple of mates documenting their story, not a course that you have to pay for to learn how to code. Like I say, if you're interested in, in following uh, Sam's progress, then uh, make sure to follow our channel. And yeah, see you in the next video.